We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Piro Gijo, who is Chairman of the Regulatory Authority of the Republic of Albania. Mr. Gijo, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. I'd like to start off by asking you, what have your impressions been of Wicket 12 so far? Uh, this meeting was very important for all of us. So the, our impression and my impression is that it's uh, in the right time. It's uh, very, very good, uh, let's say, proposals to review the ITR, which means that the ITU now is uh, aware that the last uh, uh, events, uh, the environment is already changed and uh, we have to change the ITR, which means that the principles which are set out in the ITR concerning international traffic for the service and fair uh, offered and af with affordable prices must be set very well in the document. Also, the internet, a mobile, has, has changed the world. So it's very important, this meeting, to put the new things in the new document. For my, my impression is that we have in time to change the things, so then it's very good for us. What are going to be the most important elements of this conference for you? From my point of view, the internet issue is very important things because it's connected with the tariffs, it's connected with uh, taxation, interconnections. So it's a, a new thing, and the new thing must be adjusted. And uh, we, as a regulator, have problems in this moment uh, to regulate this part of the, the field. And uh, I think the internet is a main issue. What are the particular regional concerns for Albania here? Um, I, um, as Albania, the main problem for us now is that how to pass from an, uh, dig uh, digital uh, from the TDM network, NGN network. It means from traditional technology in IP-based technology and the rules must be changed. And for this is a challenge for the regulator, how to regulate this new area or new situation. And for us, for Albania, we are going now, next year, from TDM technology in NGN technology. Our incumbent is going to change the technology. And we are in front of new tariffs, situation, new costs, and we are thinking about this, and this is for us the very challenge for us. And what do you see as the most positive outcomes to come from Wicket 12? Uh, the most positive way is that uh, all the uh, countries are aware now to change the things, to, to adjust the situation with the, let's say, what is in the field what must be written in the, the paper now. And this is, for me, uh, more important. Finally, how do you see the future of telecommunications in Albania? What's your vision for the future? The future is, uh, as I told you, that uh, now we're going very fast in IP network. <laughs> in IP network, in 3G, uh, and uh, hopefully the internet must be in any, any house. This is the, the policy of the, of the government. We have now a document, strategy document concerning broadband, which means that by the end of 2020, we have to have in each, uh, each house at least 20 megabit per second internet. And this is a challenge for us. And I think if, uh, society or our, um, let's say our society, Albanian, Albanian people must have after 10 years, a, a new situation, new tools. Otherwise, we cannot follow the, the European standard, let's say. This is, for, for me, the main challenge for regulators, for policy makers in Albania, to follow the EU challenge, because we are going to, to be part of European Union, then we have to follow the standards of them. 
Well, we wish you the very best with that, and thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much for inviting me.